It comes from Toyota. And it's called the GR Yaris. And on the face of it, the GR looks like it ticks all of the hot hatch boxes. It makes around 250 horsepower, which is proper hot hatch power. It does 0 to 60 in around five seconds and tops out at 140 miles an hour, which is proper hot hatch pace. It's all very much as it should be. Until that is, you hear about the price. Because this Toyota Yaris costs over 33,000 pounds. 33 grand for a Toyota Yaris. Now, that is a tough sell. After all, the Yaris badge does conjure a certain lifestyle and not an especially sporty one. I'm talking Saga Cruises, Stanis stair lifts, Tartan rugs. In short, 33 grand for a souped up OAP mobile it does sound like a big ask, especially when you consider the competition. Because for £14,000 less than the GR, you could have one of those, the Fiesta ST. Same size as the Yaris, utterly brilliant to drive. Or, for a couple of grand less, you could have one of these, Civic Type R. A whole lot more power. What a wonderful thing. Looks like it eats kittens for breakfast. For pretty much the same money, you could have one of these. The Mercedes AMG A35. Faster, more powerful, and with a badge that doesn't scream Zimmer frame. But here's the thing. You can't compare the Yaris to regular hot hatches, because it's not a regular hot hatch. Allow me to explain. are some of the greatest legends of the World Rally Championship. Where, to be eligible to compete, cars have always had to be closely based on a road car you can actually buy. So for the best chance of winning, you'd really want to build a road car that's been specially designed to go racing. But that would be very expensive. And as a result, it almost never happens. But just occasionally, a car maker decides that, yes, it will build a completely new, very fast road car as the perfect base for its next rally car. These are called homologation specials, and they are some of the best cars ever made. The Audi Sport Quattro shortened to make that monster there with the big wings. Lancia Delta Integrale, is that the greatest homologation road car ever made to create the thing that Juha Kankinen won those championships in? And this might be my favourite, the Evo 6 Mitsubishi that Tommy Mackinnon dominated the sport in. And then every boy racer's dream, the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. And what a rally car that created. Make no mistake, this is distinguished company. And Toyota has now given its most unlikely of cars the same treatment. The GR Yaris is no hot hatch. This is a genuine rally car for the road. <laughs> Just put your foot down and it goes. The engine's only a three-cylinder turbo petrol, but it's the most powerful one in the world right now, and it's crammed full of motorsport technology. But it's strong. And then there's the brakes. The brake pedal has immense feel. It's so good, and they are powerful. But what really sets this Rally Yaris apart it's four-wheel drive system and the way it works with the rest of the chassis to pin the car to the road. That short wheelbase, those wide tracks, 
those sticky Michelin tyres. I reckon he can drive around the outside of a BMW M3 on any roundabout. It's that grippy. <laughs> Unless, of course, you put it in sport mode, which tells it not to be. Accelerate. Can you get that? Oversteer. In a hatchback. And even better, when you yank the handbrake, it disconnects the rear axle so you can do proper rally-style handbrake turns. Brings out my inner Colin McRae. Flick it around. <laughs> that is ridiculous! And it's got a Toyota badge on it! Which, incidentally, is one of the few things that GR Yaris shares with the OAP spec original that your Nan drives. The regular Yaris has five doors. This one, three. The roof is four inches lower. And because your rally car must be made of the same stuff as your road car, that roof is now also carbon fibre, while the bonnet and doors are lightweight aluminium. Toyota has reinvented the Yaris, and it now truly belongs with this lot. For me, a homologation special is a car that looks ordinary when you see it from a distance, but up close you see the width and the specialness, those wide tracks. And the Yaris absolutely nails that. I think it's an instant icon, I really do. Honestly, it's one of the best cars I've driven in years. And it absolutely belongs in this company. What a machine!